Today, I am going to explain Girouin Nguyen algorithm. Girouin Nguyen algorithm is used to find the community in the network. Regarding the community, I have explained in another video. Just have a look on it. Okay. Now, let us directly go to the new algorithm. The algorithm says, the first part of algorithm says, you have to calculate the between centrality of all the edges in the network. First step says that you have to calculate the between, calculate the between centrality of all the edges in the network. To find the between centrality of all the edges in the network, we have to consider each node and we have to try, uh, you have to try the graph. But first of all, what is between centrality of the network is nothing but, between centrality is nothing but, suppose between centrality of AB is nothing but number of shortest path passing from this edges. Okay, if you try to calculate the shortest from all other edge uh, between different different nodes, then how many shortest path pass from this particular edge that is called between centrality of edge AB. That is between centrality of any edge is called as number of shortest path uh, passing from that particular edge pro, uh, and the shortest path you may be take between any two vertices. Okay, that is number of shortest path between uh, how many shortest path pass from this particular edge is nothing but between the centrality of edge AB. Okay. okay, now let us find out how to find between centrality of A that let us see here. Let us take first we will start with the node A. We have to, to find the between centrality we have to consider each node and try to find the edge weighters. Okay, now start with the node A you have to form a tree like structure. See node A is connected to node B as well as node C. See node A is connected to node B as well as C. You have to draw like this node A is connected to B as well as C. Similarly. B and C are connected to D. C B and C are connected to D. Yes. From C we have one more edge called A, one more edge called E and from B you have one more edge called F. From B you have one more edge called F. Okay. This is a tree like structure you have to form. Then you have to find the wedge weight. Cm. From A to A, to go from A to A, there is how many paths? One path, that is one to A, one path. From A to B, there is one, how many path you have? Only one path, A to B, one path, A to B, one path. A to C is also one path, A to C is also one path. And A to D, you have two paths. You can see from here to here, you can go, that is A, B, D, as well as A, C, D. There is two paths, one, two. Remember, it is the shortest path, okay? That is two, you have to write two here. Similarly, A to E, A to A to E, you have only one path, A to E have you only path, A to C and C to E, okay, that is one path, so that is why I have written a 1 and A to F, you have one path, that is A to B and B to F, that is why I have written 1 here, okay, you have to mention it, A to A, 1, A to B, what is the number of, what is the path, 1, that is why you have to write wedge way, well, here I have A to C, 1, so don't, or A to D, it is 2, that is not this 1, 2, it is not that, it is one path, that is A, B, D as well as A, C, D and uh, A to E, it is how much? One path only, do not don't take this 1 and 2, no, it is not one path, one root, A to C, from A to C, A you can travel to C, C to E, only one path you have, okay. Similarly, A to F also 1 and C, that is this A, B, F, you have only one path. After that, now you have to find out the edge weight, okay. How to calculate, if with the leaf nodes, leaf nodes means nodes occur in the last, the edge weight is very easy. The upper node divided by lower node, weight of the outer node by divided by 1, that is this is 1 divided by 1 is equal to 1. And this since this is also leaf node, that is here you can see 1 divided by 2, that is 1 by 2 is equal to 0 0.5, are you getting it? Similarly, here the upper one edge is 1 and the node weight of this one is 2, that is 1 by 2.5. And over upper one is 1 and here also 1, so it is 1 by 1 is 1, okay, 1 by 1 is 1. So, when it is a node leaf node, you have to go like this, upper one divided by down one, wait, okay, that is 1 divided by 1 is 1, 1 divided by 2 is 0.5, 1 divided by 2 is 0.5, 1 divided by 1 is 1. This is non-leaf nodes, this for the non-leaf nodes, you have to take Always a first edge weight is 1 only, first one you have to consider 1 only, later on you have to see how many more edges has passed from this, so you can see how many incoming edges are there for B, this is how many incoming edges are there for B, you can see, 
you can see there are uh, how many edges are there only uh, see how many edges are in the lower level just check how many edges are in the lower level see here it is what is the weight of this one 1 that is why I have written here 1 and this is 0. 0.5 that is 0. 0.5 so initial one you have to write like that only for one edge weight is 1 1 edge weight plus this lower one 1 and this 0. 0.5 that is 1 plus 1 plus 0. 0.5 that is 2.5 Similarly, edge weight of C is always also like that. First, you have to take 1, edge weight of C is 1 plus how many uh, edges has gone from this? That is 2. Whose weight is 1 plus 0.5? 1 plus this 1 is from here and this 0.5 is here. So, total comes to be 2.5. Okay. This is what you got it. Now, in the meantime, you try to upload, take one, uh, make one table like this where you mention the edges. Which edges you have to mention is this edges A, B, a B that is A C and B D, B D over here and then B F, B F over here and then C E and C D. This mention you adjust as well as you write down the notes A B C D E. You and okay now see here A B. What is C? What is the weight of A B here you got now here? 1 plus 1, 2, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 2, 2.5. So mention 2.5 over here. Through add node edge you got 2.5, AC how much you got that also you got 2.5 mentioned over here and uh, and you have what yeah uh, BF you got BF you got 1 C here you have mentioned over here BD you got 0. 0.5 mentioned over here 0. 0.5 and CD 0. 0.5 yes mentioned over here and CE how much you got 1 so that you mentioned it the A node is over. Now let us go to the B node now let us go to the node B. Let us note to the B node B. Now see here node B you have to draw the graph like this node B. Node B is connected to node A as well as ED that is what node B is connected to A, D and one more here, here it is connected is called node B is connected to A, D as well as F right. So A, D and F correct. Similarly you can say node uh, B, A, D and F and C you can see A and D are connected to C. So, you can say A and D are connected to C, okay. Parallelly you can also do and C is connected to F, C is connected to F, okay. So, that is how it is. Now, it is node B is connected to A and D that A, A, D and F. So, I have written like a B is connected to A, D and F. Further, I can say A and D is connected to B, uh, C, C here and C is connected to E. Now, we are considering is a node B uh, as a root node. So, every time so you have to change the root node, okay. Now, see. Now, what happened? Here is the edge, edge, weight, uh, edge weight of this B is 1. Here also root only one path 1. Here also only one path 1. Here also only one path. So, edge weight of F is 1. So, edge weight of C is 2. Why? Because here are, there are two paths, not two edges. Do not worry about that. Is two paths. One path is over here and one path is over here. Two paths. And similarly, for uh, the path for E is also 2. Why? Because that is I can give come B, A, C, E or it can come B, D, C, E. Okay. There is 2. Okay. Now, let us find out the edge, edge weight is here. Now, here. See, I said when there is a leap node, you have to do like this. 2 divided by 2, it becomes 1 this 2 this divided by this 2 and for non leaf nodes you are doing like this that is uh, writing 1 1 this is 1 plus the next following it how much it is 1 this writing 1 non leaf node you have to write first 1 and plus this following this which is how much 1 1 plus 1 is how much 2 2 divided 2 this 2 you remember 2 i divided by 2 i'll tell you similarly for this cd also 1 is for the normal so in non leaf node you have to write 1 that edge weight 1 plus the following one following one is how much 1 1 plus 1 is 2 now this divided by 2 why because here c is further divided into 2 do you agree with me here c has gone like this you may be asking in the previous things why here also then like this but i have not divided because i have not divided here because it is a leaf node it is a leaf node the strategy is the same thing upper node divided by the lower node one the wedge weight of but here is not like that here it is here it is again further divided it is a non leaf node that is why whatever you get answer 2 it must be divided by 2 it must be divided by 2 so it is 2 by 2 how much you get 1 and for this particular edge you can write first edge node uh, 1 1 is always you write for the non leaf node you are writing 1 always node weight 1 plus this this one this one is what is our answer 1 so 1 plus 1 is how much 2 
Similarly, for D also you have to calculate 1 is normally 1 for norm if node you have to write 1 first, edge weight wise 1 plus the following one, this follows 1 edge follows here. Do not think about this, only immediate one you have to think what is edge weight of this one is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, here only 1, here how much only 1, there is no, no following edges are there, okay. Similarly, you have to find for C, you have found, I have found it, uh, just see here. Uh, similarly, I will just tell you how to find for C, just a graph. Similarly, you have to update in this table also, just as it is, you have to upload C from B. What is the edge weight AB? You try to upload. See here, you can AB, you can write is 2, C, I have written 2. Similarly, BD, I can write BD2, I have written like that. Similarly, BE, BF1, BF1, yes. Similarly, AC is how much? 1, AC I have written 1. Yes, similarly, CE is 1. So, that is what note B also you update. Keep updating on the same time. Okay, similarly, you have to find for the C also. C also, C here. For the C, you can see here, C is connected to A and D. C is connected to A and D. And A and D are connected to B, A and D are connected to B and B is connected to E, F, B is connected to F and C is connected to E, C is connected to E, okay. So, yeah, now you can write the edge weight again same thing for this one and for this one root, one root, one root for E to reach B there are two roots that is uh, two roots are one and two. As for H, F, there are two roots, some like this and like this. Same thing, node weight again, 2 divided by 2 is 1. This is for the leaf node is like this. For non-leaf node, it's what? 1 is always there for non-leaf node plus the pre, uh, following one that is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Here also same thing, 1 is always there for the non-leaf node plus the following one, this one. 1 plus 1 is 2. Why this divided by 2 again? Because B is further divided into A and D. There is two income nodes A and D. See this A and D. That is why you have to do 2 by 2. Okay. So that is 2 by 2 divided by 2 you have to do because this is divided into 2. Okay. For this A you can write non-leaf node. First you have to write 1 plus following. What is the following answer here? 1. So 1 plus 1 is how much? 2. Here D also you have to write uh, 1 is the non-leaf node. 1 you have to write plus the following one is 1. Similarly, for E also, E is 1 only, right? You don't have any following one. That is why any no, this was 1, okay? Oh, sorry, E is a non-leaf node, right? So, no, for the non-leaf node, you know what is the answer. E is also a non-leaf node, right? So, non-leaf node, you know, upper 1 divided by lower 1. 1 by 1 is 1, okay? Non-leaf node, yes. So, for E, similarly, you update in the table. The values with the C, C only one, some things I will tell you, AB is 1, so update AB is 1, AC is uh, 2, AC is 2, C update same thing, okay, in the table, similarly C is, C is 1, so you update for all other edges, what is the weight over here, okay, yes, similarly you can do it for D, it is similar only, I will not solve it, okay. Similarly, you can do it for E. E is little bit changed. The diagram is a little bit changed. So, I will solve it. E, you can say from E, it is connected to C. From C, it is connected to A as well as from it is connected to D. Okay. Because C, it is connected to A and D. From A and D are connected to B. Yes, B and B is connected to F. So, I will just calculate for this. Okay. Now, listen. I will just calculate for this. This is the leaf, uh, this is 1 edge weight, 1 path 1 plus here it is again 1 path, yes 1, D also 1, here 2 that is from like this way and this way that is 2. If it is this one 2, this one will be 2 because you can write come like this and you can come like this. I think it is very easy to understand from the diagram, yes, because it is here, yeah, though mill the 2, okay, right. So, now you can see the leaf node, you can again find out the edge weight is 2 divided by 2, it is 1. Here you can write as what 1 is because B is non-leaf node plus following this one, 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. Here also same thing, 1 B is non-leaf node that is why 1 plus the following 1 plus 2. Why divided by 2 is because B is further divided into 2. This is possible only if it is B is not 
non leaf node if it is a leaf node then you don't have to worry do you should not divide by 2 okay this is divided by 2 why because this is again divided into 2 so here again 2 incoming nodes okay similarly you can write here this is 1 because it's a non leaf node plus the following is 1 1 plus 1 2 here C D D is a non leaf node that is why 1 plus the following 1 that is 1 here 1 plus 1 2 see where you can see here for the non leaf nodes so see it is 1 1 plus the following here is 2 here following is 2 plus total total is 5 ok total 5. Similarly, you can go ahead with this one F1 ok where the diagram goes like this only same way same way you can calculate or just check after calculating after doing that you have to keep on updating the table I hope you understood that table you have to keep on updating and you have to try to find out the total of it from A node what is the weight and C node D E F I hope it is understood to you so you have to find out the total see here the total I have mentioned it that is I get A B 9 I got A B 9 you can see A B 9 A C 9 you can see here A B 9 I got the total as I will just mention this total show you the total I got a b as 9 a b as 9 similarly b d 9 as well as a c 9 similarly c d 9 from here I got and c e 10 and b f 10 this is what you have to do it this is what you have to do it then you have to divide this by 2 why because why you have to divide it by this 2 why because you have this is a di bidirectional uh, graph that is why you have to divide by 2 by direction because there is a path from a b as well as b a so divide by 2 9 divided by 2 you get 4.5 4.5 4.5 4.5 then you get here for 10 divided by 2 you get 5 here 10 divided by you get your 5 so now you see in the algorithm calculate the uh, betweenness centrality of all the edges in the network that is you done remove the edge with the highest betweenness centrality so now you calculated betweenness centrality of all the edges now we have to remove these edges with, which has got highest betweenness centrality that is these two edges i have mentioned in a different color which you have to remove i have removed here i have removed here now i got a graph like this after getting the graph am I, am I supposed to stop no you are not supposed to stop actually it is the reality in reality in this graph there are two three communities are there one two three you can also mention see there is one community a kind of cluster I can say this one two community and third community see here third point is here recalculate the between the centrality of all the remaining edges recalculate the between the centrality of the all the remaining edges I can't calculate the between the centrality of the remaining edges because it is not network only here also I can't calculate but for this again I can cal have to calculate the between the centrality so I have calculated here that is like this again you have to make a graph a a2 is connected to b b is connected to b and c a is connected to b and c and b and c are connected to d so that is what I made it uh, similarly I made the for node for made node b and node c and node d and I have uploaded one more made one more table again I got the value as 4 I mentioned 4 after that what I have to do is I have to divide by 2 because why because it is a bidirectional right a, there are two paths so that is I have to divide by 2 now you can see all are same weight if I remove all the now what is according to the law after we calculate recalculate between the centrality of remaining edges repeating step 2 and 3 until the network is divide, divided into desired number of community see remove the edge with now recalculate the between the centrality of the remaining edges I calculated here now again I have to repeat the 2 and 3 steps remove the edge with highest between the centrality again I have to if I remove it this all this between the centrality is 2 if I remove it what I get a b c d is this a network no this is not a network that means where we have to stop this is not a network obviously this is not a network right this is a disconnected one so we have to stop over here only in the previous step itself what is the community I got this trim take down yes we have to stop over here only this is a community what we got but without doing the next step we will not understand but this is the community what we got three communities we got correct these are clusters see they are community they are connected to each other this is different community this is different community 
that doesn't, doesn't, doesn't mean that they have to form a cycle only, no, it is a cluster, there this, there is a link between all four nodes, okay, and this is E is separate and E is separate, see, there are three communities are there, okay, thank you.